Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today I have an update of this SH Figure Art Custom Evil Boo. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So a lot of you guys, if you guys saw my last video, you guys know that I previewed. I previewed. What the heck is previewed? I previewed this guy, or I showed him off a little preview of him. When I first started making him, um, you guys could see that it's a big difference. I modified the face. I modified a lot of things and I'll, and I'll point those out to you guys right now. Um, there is some line work that I did, some cartoon line work uh, to make him look more cartoonish, to make him uh, more screen accurate. Um, in the cartoon, you, you see how they have like a bunch of, um, I have my camera with focus. Here we go. I have a little lines here and there. Uh, give him more of a definition around the face. I think he looks a lot more like the evil boo now than he did when I first showed him to you guys. And uh, uh, little lines here and there. It goes throughout the whole body. So the whole body has a bunch of little lines to make him look more cartoonish. I think uh, he came out pretty freaking good. I also finished his, um, uh, the cape. This part is uh, po uh, epoxy clay. Uh, and this part is obviously cotton fabric um, so uh, what I did was put some wires through it and so now it's um, posable so now you could you guys could bend it any which way you guys want and it'll pose for you guys so if you guys want to take pictures with it you guys could do that um, as far as articulation is exactly the same as the other time I showed it to you guys if you guys didn't see it uh, everything's exactly the same as an SH figure arts or the evil boo the knockoff evil boo because this is what this guy was was the well the one that the people called evil boo which wasn't actually evil boo which is this dude which is Manjin boo the original regular Manjin boo um so yeah this guy was the originally a knockoff uh of a uh, Manjin boo which is the knockoff of this dude um, and then I turned them into Evil Boo. Uh, there's no SH figure art for this guy, obviously, not yet. Uh, so I decided to make my own because I really, really love Manjibu. And I think Manjibu was one of my favorite uh, villains on Dragon Ball Z. So I decided to make this dude. Um, uh, so as far as articulation, everything moves exactly the same as any other uh, SH figure arts, I guess. But... Uh, this was a knockoff, so uh, all the all the um, joints aren't exactly the same as uh, an SH figure arts because, like I said, it's a knockoff. So, but I mean, articulation it's still completely there. Everything rotates, everything moves around. Um, his feet kick out, knees go in. Uh, there's a little pivots here and there, and the little toes go up like that. So as far as articulation goes, everything is exactly the same as the other uh, uh, the other time I showed you guys this guy. Uh, as far as the face, I did extend the neck because I was looking at the cartoon and I noticed that the cartoon has a long, really long neck. So I extended the neck to make him look like that. Um, so yeah, as far as articulation, it, this guy rotates all the way, looks up that much. He could move his neck a little bit more back. Uh, as far as down, that's how down he goes. That's how much he could look. Um, but yeah, as far as his cape, like I said, you guys could pose it any which way you guys want. And you could be falling. Uh, or, you know, cool little wind blow in the back. So yeah, so i think he came out pretty good if you guys want a comparison with the uh with the other manjibu let me take him out of the box and i'll compare him with him. all right guys so as far as height goes i think uh i i pretty much knocked it out of the park because this guy is much taller than the original original boo so there you go he is much taller much linkier much skinnier and much linkier see as you guys could see the, long, the arms are even longer uh, his, even, his torso right here is a lot longer here and a lot skinnier uh, his face his neck is a lot longer 
Um, his legs, of course, he stands a lot taller. So, uh, yeah, as far as comparing, I think he came out pretty good. His height, I think, came out pretty good. Uh, he's that much taller than him if you count the antenna up here. So, yeah, I think he came out pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty proud of him. Uh, he does come with extra hands, uh, these closed fists. Uh, so he's got those closed fists and then he has uh, two blasting hands. If I paint it. So he's blasting away. Actually, it should go this way. And then he's got an open palm one. And then he's got a pointy finger. He's looking at you, kid. So yeah, he comes with all that, and he comes with the yelling face as well. Hopefully this camera can focus. So there you go. He's got a yelling face, and I like this face better. It's a face that I modified. I really think he looks a lot more like the evil boo with this face. Alright guys, so the reason why I'm showing this dude off is because um, I am selling this guy. So this guy will be on my eBay store if I don't get any messages within the next two weeks prior to posting this video. Um, I will be posting this guy on eBay if I don't get any messages on Instagram. So if you guys are interested, hit me up on Instagram. I'd rather you guys buy it directly from me than buying it on eBay because if you guys buy it directly from me I don't have to pay those extra taxes on eBay give 10% to eBay after selling this dude and then you guys have to pay taxes on this dude so instead of doing all that stuff uh, I'd rather you guys just uh, go directly into my Instagram send me a message on Instagram I'll tell you the price just keep in mind guys that this dude took me three weeks to make three weeks to sculpt everything. I mean, all this stuff is sculpted, hand painted. All this is sculpted. All this is sculpted. This is all sculpted. This bottom part is sculpted. Uh, the hands are sculpted as well. I put some epoxy clay to make him look like look like he has gloves on. Um, this right here, I had to cut open, it's extended. Uh, the neck as well, I had to cut it, extend it. All this, of course, is epoxy. All this, I had to make, paint, and put the little wires through it so you guys could have all that good stuff right there. Um, so yeah, it just, it, it just, it was a pain in the butt. Took three weeks. I think it came out pretty freaking awesome. You guys get extra accessories as well. Extra hands, of course, uh, six hands in total. And then, of course, an extra face. So, um, just keep in mind that I do need the money, guys. So, um, and this is really, really hard work. Anybody, anybody does, does, that does custom figures will tell you that making custom figures is a lot of work. So, um, if you guys are interested, um, hit me up. I'll send you a price. I'd rather you guys send me the PayPal uh money through paypal and then i'll send them to you guys directly uh i won't i don't like putting them on ebay like i said i don't like paying the extra money on ebay so if you guys could buy it for me directly it would be a lot better process and a lot easier process um but if you guys want to do it ebay we could do that and just you guys are going to get charged more and then i'm going to get charged more so it, it sucks that way you know so anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little video if you get if you did please guys don't forget to hit the thumbs up share this video maybe somebody that you know might want to buy this guy um so yeah you know, hit people up on instagram and let them know that this guy is available for a uh, purchase um maybe they have the money for it so thank you guys again for watching um if you guys are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on next one peace